Hey everyone, it is BrickLover18 here today. I am in my Lego room doing some Lego building and editing some videos when I got a not very nice email from my building that I rent here in my Lego studio saying that tomorrow they need to come and measure the windows here in my studio as part of the window replacement project in my building. I live in an older building and the windows need to be replaced and they need to have access to my unit tomorrow to measure all the windows so they know what size to order for my unit. And that's great because I don't have any windows in here, right? Like just must be in my living room and my bedroom and stuff. But um, nope, that's not right. As you can see, behind my studio and behind these three bookshelves, I've got wall-to-wall -wall windows that are currently covered up by this black paper here um so it doesn't ruin my lego collection and it looks like i have a day's notice to move all of these bookshelves and all of this lego out of the way so the window people can come in and spend five minutes to measure which i'm not mad that they can come to measure because it's very important that we get new windows here in the lego room but it is a little bit of an inconvenience and with this little of notice I've got to move fast and I've got to clean up this room and then I've got to make it so all this Lego is out of the way and I'm not looking forward to it. So that's why I'm going to document it. So here we go. All right, so the first thing I did was, of course, clean up the mess over here on this side of the Lego room, moved everything out of the way, and now I'm going to tackle over here. I'm going to first grab some tape and tape the spots on the floor where the lights and everything go just to keep them good and so I can know where I put my table back to. And then, of course, remove everything and remove all the lights and all that good stuff. All right, the side of the studio is pretty cleaned out now, as you can see, just through the table over here. I do have to say, I like how clean this looks. Looks cool, I definitely could do some other filming or something like that over here, maybe one of these days without a table here. I don't know, interesting. I'm glad I have the tape here now. That was something I just hadn't done yet, and now that it's done, will be easy. And of course, now I've gotta move these three bookshelves. Of course, they're some of the most fullest ones I have and the ones that are the nicest looking. So that'll be fun. All right, cool, now that the top of the bookshelves are cleaned off and everything's out of the way, I think I can try and slide these bookshelves over. As you can see now, you can really see the three windows here, um, the three windows that are gonna be replaced. So tomorrow they're just coming in to measure everything, but then after that, they are gonna be replaced, but that won't be probably until like May, June, July, who knows? All right, so this is what the Lego room's looking like right now. As you can see, I managed to successfully move the three bookcases. So this is the farthest one. This was the one that was closest. And of course, this is the one in the middle. I just literally flipped this one out of the way. I added tape to the floor so I knew where the desks went. And so I knew where this shelf lined up with because once I get it lined up, the rest of it is easy. As you can see now, the windows here and exposed so they can come in and do the measurements. So then I can move all this in less than a year as well. again. Um, but it actually wasn't that bad. I was able to do it. I thought I was going to have to move all the Lego off the shelves, but I just took it slow and steady and was able to move it like this. So when I initially started this video, this project turned out to be way less than an inconvenience than I thought it would be. But as you can see, this is what it's here. This is what it's looking like right here. And the rest of the room is pretty busy, um, but it's kind of okay because as I said, tomorrow they will come in and they will do the measurements to these windows. And because today and tomorrow is so busy for me, I probably won't even have time to be in here anyway. I'll be doing school and work. So by the time they're done, I will be ready and good to go to move everything back and get this Lego room back in order. But yeah, wow, I thought this was gonna be way worse than it was, but inconvenient, but not, not awful. All right, so the window measurer people have been here. They did their measurements. They love the Lego room. The building manager didn't love that the windows were taped up, but it's okay because it's all done now, and that means I get to move these bookshelves back and get this Lego room reset up, which is perfect because now I've finished all my major tasks for the day, and I'm ready to go, ready to get this back in order. 
There we go. All the bookshelves are back in place and absolutely no catastrophe. I think that's part of the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I was afraid that I might accidentally tip over one of these bookshelves. But I was very pleasantly surprised how well they moved. My studio setup is back. And like I said, I do like the look of this room without the tables and stuff there. It would be cool to have the build table there or something like that as well. But of course, this is the studio, so it will be returned to a studio. I'll put the table back here. But like, that's, yeah, that's a cool angle if I ever want to do like a podcast or anything right there. But anyway, I'm going to put the table back and get all of this stuff back on top of those bookshelves right here. All right, so there we go. I actually got everything set back up again. The table, for whatever reason, did not line up to the markers that I left on the floor. I, I couldn't tell you why, but as you can see, this is what it looks like on the camera, which is pretty much back to normal. But yeah, yeah super confused why I, that's not lining up. I don't know if the table legs are in a little different position or what, but... Interesting how that works, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. It's as long as it's lined up with the desk and with the the red the bookshelves here, and it looks good on camera. You know, like I think it does. I'm good to go. As you can see, I got everything up here. Got it organized a little bit nicer, actually. So there's actually some room for some more Lego sets up there, which is perfect. In addition to all the other ones that I have up here, and yeah, now I'm glad and ready to be making videos again. Glad I don't have to move these bookshelves again for a few more months until they come and actually replace the windows. In that case, I'll probably have to move a lot more than just three bookshelves because they're going to be in this room cutting the windows from the side of the building and putting them in. And just I'm on I'm on a higher floor, so don't know how that's going to work. But anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Definitely a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be when I initially started filming. Um, it was just simple simple easy move after all but anyway thank you guys so much for checking this out if you did enjoy it please don't forget to leave a like comment and of course subscribe and stay tuned for all the future videos here in my lego room see you soon